Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. Um, your question is, is very interesting, right? <laughs> and thought-provoking. Um, you start out by saying, I know we're supposed to keep our sins hidden and not expose them. Um, that is true, right? That is so true. Um, but the problem that people run into a lot, right, is especially like when they're in a group of friends or if they're contemplating marriage with somebody and there's a question asked or if a parent asks them something. I mean, there's so many different scenarios, right, where we don't want to lie, but we've already repented for anything that we've done wrong and we have the right to withhold information that is between Allah and us only. So with that said, um, I guess a situation happened to you um, that somebody asked you something um, about, like I guess something that happened in the past, right? Um, and you kind of like nervously laughed and you did inform them, you're not supposed to ask that. But then they asked you another question about a haram thing um, that you never did. And quickly without thinking, you said, absolutely not. So they said, so you did do the other one, right? So what they did was they kind of used psychology on you, right? To try to see where the truth was for the first question, which was very manipulative, right? Um, first of all, these whoever it was should not have been asking you um, about haram things from the past, okay? They should have not been asking you that. And they should have not manipulated you either, okay? So while they're inquiring about the haram things that you possibly have done in the, few, in the past, they're doing like haram things now, right? <laughs> in the current situation. Um, they shouldn't manipulate you. That's like, that's like wicked, right? You don't manipulate people. Um, that's not Islamic. And that's, that's what they did to you. They manipulated you. So anyhow, sister, um, it, it's, it's difficult, but it's easy, right? Um, you don't you don't reveal the sins that Allah has so graciously and mercifully covered for you um, after repenting, right? We know that. And those that ask should either just be ignored or just tell them it's inappropriate. And if they ask another question about something else along those lines, repeat the same phrase. That's inappropriate. You could tell you could tell people. What's between you and Allah is between you and Allah, and what is between myself and Allah is between myself and Allah. And that's all you have to say. Now, I understand that, you know, you confronted the person, and you told them that they made you uncomfortable, um, and they apologized and said they were just being silly. But really, there's there's nothing silly about it, right? Because um, when, we, when we commit sins or we do things wrong, and we sincerely repent to Allah, that's a very serious thing. It's not a silly thing. It's not something to be played with later on. And that's what they were doing. So please, sister, don't let that trigger anxiety in you. Um, your past is not going to come back to haunt you, inshallah. Um, Allah knows the situation. Allah sees everything. And Allah saw that these Per, this person or these people manipulated you, right? And, and none of us are perfect, right? Especially when we're put on the spot. What are we going to say? <laughs> but you know, Allah knows. Allah knows your heart. So don't worry about that, right? Allah loves you and whatever sins you've committed and you repented for, and Allah knows that and Allah loves you and you have let it go. But but the, the proof in the pudding is on those who have asked you and then manipulated you in the next sentence with another question. Okay, so those are the ones that will have to be accountable to Allah for, you know, prying and trying to to get into business that's not theirs, right? And to possibly perhaps gossip, who knows? But just know, Sister Allah has you covered and, you know, you did the right thing. And of course, you know, you're human. You were taken off guard. Don't worry about it. Allah's got you. Allah loves you. And so again, um, the more that this happens, which, you know, this is kind of common, right? 
People are always asking questions and want to know this and want to know that. Um, but the, the more that you navigate this, like you said in, in your question, the more you navigate the, these situations and social constructs, the more you'll get used to it and the more you'll be able to handle it better without anxiety, right? And it'll just come like, you know, the wind. Your response will come like the wind because you'll be so well-versed and you'll know how these people come at you and you'll know how to answer them. But Allah understands, you know, he knows that we don't have the answers for everything and he knows we get caught off guard. But he also knows that you repented. He also knows you were sincere and Allah knows that you love him and, and fear him. So remember that Allah loves you and he has forgiven you, inshallah. We wish you the best.